Back in the fall of 2020, a new type of addressable LED uh, arrived from China. <clears throat> At the time, we didn't know much about it, who manufactured it, um, what the model was, what the spec was for it, and in large degree, we, we still don't know. However, um, <laughs> we have figured out how to make it work. And so um, I'm, I'm going to show you how to, um, we're going to take a look at what, what comes with it. And then I'll show you how to uh, pull it apart and use it with WLED. So um, it does come with a, a controller. It has a, has a push button. Uh, comes with a, a remote and you can switch solid colors and pick from about 12 different animations. But why settle for 12 different combinations when we can have about 5,000? So I removed the standard controller, soldered the tips of the wire and attached it to our uh, ESP32 running WLED. <clears throat> The first thing that uh, you'll notice is that I have about two meters of wire here between the controller and the, the LEDs, and um, there's no level shifter. So normally if uh, you had a, a run uh, th that much of a gap between the two with uh, normal NeoPixel WS2812s, you would need a level shifter to increase the voltage from the 3.3 volt out to the uh, required five volt for the lights, but these are running. Um, these are running with a, a two meter gap and uh, no level shifter, and they're performing just fine. The next uh, difference, and this is a big one, is the price. Uh, these 20, 20 meter two hundred LED strips uh, <clears throat> or, or strings rather. Uh, um, I'm buying off of uh, AliExpress for under seventeen dollars. Uh, compare that to a string of WS twenty eight twelves, and that'll cost you about three times as much. So definitely a great value. Another big difference is the power consumption. So uh, these lights, um, I measured them, and uh, they're drawing. Uh, 15 milliamps per pixel, compare that to 60 milliamps per pixel for the WS2812s, and uh, that's that's quite a difference. Um, the next difference between the two are that these pixels have their address hard-coded. So if we cut the strip here uh, between, between the two strands, so uh, between... Uh, uh, 100 and 101 um, this this pixel this pixel would still be at uh, at address um, 101 uh, normally with a WS2812 if you cut the string in half the first pixel would be one and so um, WLED can handle that pretty easily but it's something to keep in mind if you uh, had the second strand and you attached it, uh, WLED lights the first 40 pixels by default. So you might uh, hook it up and not see anything because um, it's, it's uh, lighting pixels one through 40 and your string starts at 100. So uh, important to keep in mind. Uh, another difference between NeoPixels and these uh, SamNet strings is the color order. With these lights, the color order is RGB, whereas uh, WS2812, the color order is GRB, green, red, blue. And so uh, if you plug them in and your colors are off, be sure to just go into your settings there and, and change your color order to red, green, blue. And finally, the, the last difference, and this is important when we hook it up, is the order of the wires. So a WS2812 string, the from, from left to right, the wires are five volt data and ground. However, on these, the wires are five volt ground and data. So the, 
the, um, I'll try to zoom in here, the gold wire indicates five volt and the two silver wires, the, the middle silver wire being ground and the rightmost silver wire or the outside silver wire is your data pin. <clears throat> so let's talk briefly about hooking these wires up. If you attach to the uh, extension on it, this is pretty easy to either solder directly to your controller or you can crimp on the, the pins for the JST connector or even just solder, uh, solder the JST connector on and, and then attach some heat shrink tube. And uh, so this, this JST connector is the, the standard kind that comes with pretty much every LED strip. Um, but lately, I've been using these JST PH pins, or connectors. And um, one reason for doing this is uh, that the, the gauge of the wires matches the um, the, the, the gauge of these wires and, and so it's a little easier to hook up. And uh, so as you're stringing these around the house, um, you'll come to a, you know, a window or whatever and you'll have to like cut off a piece of, a piece of these and um, attach the connectors to it. And so uh, you'll notice that the um, JSTPH tip is about the same is about the same width as the beads. And so as you thread these through holes or conduit or whatever, um, the JSTPH connectors are just more conducive. Um, what I've been doing with these, uh, when, you, when you're working on these wires, they're epoxy coated. So I'll take a knife and strip off, uh, strip off quarter to a, a half inch of the epoxy with a knife and uh, try, try to get as much of it as you can because um, when you go to solder it, that, um, that epoxy is going to burn off and is nasty. So get as much of it with a knife as you, as you can. Um, when I attach it to these, then I just um, bend, bend it in half into a hook and thread, thread that through here, through these uh, connectors, and just, just a little drop of uh, solder then and uh, wrap it up with some heat shrink tubing. Well, I hope this video encouraged you to check out these uh, pretty, pretty awesome and inexpensive LEDs. And if you haven't um, already done so, definitely check out WLED. It's just an amazing piece of software. All right, have a good day. Thank you.